Welcome TMDDTM viewers to another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. First, I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. Next, I just want to remind you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you appreciate the content, click on that thumbs up icon, be sure to leave a comment, and be sure to share this video with others. So today I'm going to show you how we actually built a California closet for the garage. Uh, we were looking for functionality as well as beautiful elegance. And I think you'll find that here in this uh, garage set. We actually added gas spring lifts to this storage unit. This is a eight foot by 24 foot by two foot deep uh, storage set. We added clips for hanging tools on our pegboard. So you guys know I'm all about building your dream so you don't have to pay someone that extra money. So first thing you want to do is sketch that design and then determine the materials you need. We went and picked our materials up from our local um, big box store. Or next we decided to clear that space that we wanted to do the build on. So let's talk about building the skeleton. First you want to build the shelves. We use two by three posts that we cut into uh, nine and a quarter inch pieces. We're going to use 10 of these pieces per shelf. So we're going to mark these off, put them on the miter saw, cut these pieces out, and then attach them to three of the two by three, eight foot long boards. So we just glued them and screwed them every two feet. Uh, and split this down the middle so there was a left side and a right side as you can see here. After you've done the first side, then you're going to do an offset stagger. You're going to glue them and screw them here as well. So now we have our skeletal base here. You're going to make a few of these uh, for each shelf that you're actually building here. Attach the horizontal two by threes to the existing wall studs at about six feet in height. We're going to actually zip into this and screw and bolt into this to keep it from tipping over. We're going to attach some brackets at the desired shelf height. I went approximately every two feet. Now I have some place to put that skeletal base. This is a two man job, so you'll need an additional uh, set of hands to help you hold this up. So I zip those three studs that are wall facing into the existing boards there that um, are there and then we placed the skeletal base on top and screwed the existing brackets directly into uh, the skeletal base. So we secured all three of those posts directly in to prevent tipping. As you can see here, um, we're pretty secure. And then we just started to replicate this across the other bases here and we repeated it. Now that we have the skeleton complete, now it's time to actually build the body. So we're going to use malamine board, which is actually standard cabinetry material. We're going to make side walls and shelf tops to go on the skeleton here. So my uh, side walls, I'm cutting to 24 and a half by 96. So those are side walls as well as um, the top of the unit. And then the shelf tops will be 23 inches by 96 inches. Now these will have to be slid in from the back. So you'll have to remove uh, the skeleton that's already in place. You're going to move that back out so you can actually slide the malamine board in uh, from the side. Otherwise you won't be able to get it to fit in there. So we have to slide those in. So then we just tack, tack on the side wall and then you're going to put the second skeleton back in place and attach it. And then again, you're just going to screw and secure it to the horizontal post to the walls with the three inch deck screws. And you just continue that down. Once you have your malamine boards uh, located where you want them, grab your nail gun and start to nail all around the unit, uh, attaching that malamine board to the skeleton. Next, you're going to start to make shelf braces. You'll see how we'll apply those here. 
So I'm going to uh, screw these in. Let's just add another element of support uh, to the shelving because I'm going to cut the front portion of the legs off here because I want to have that as an open front. So I needed to give it a brace to hold the weight. I am continuing to cut the shelf tops for the next set of units. You can see here where I cut that front unit leg off uh, of that two by three board there. And that's where I placed the brace. So next we actually nail the top and the final side to the post. So we've actually enclosed it. Here we're actually using pegboard. I just got a four by eight pegboard to attach in here because I want to be able to hang uh, tools and equipment in here. So this was placed inside the unit. And as you can see, we've come quite a long way in a short period of time. We're gonna go ahead and cut these legs off because we put the brackets on here. Because again, we want an open face across uh, the entire front unit, just at the lower portion. Now you're looking at the top, uh, the top of the shelf, and we've tacked that on, and now we have a completed body. Now we want to actually create the cabinet face. So now we've cut some two by three boards to go into the front face um, uh, for the post. We're going to put doors on here, so we need to have a flat, um, a flush face, so that we can actually attach the doors. So again, you just take your measurements, cut them to size, and then get your deck screws and zip these right on and attach it. And you'll see here exactly how we're going to apply um, a, front for, a front surface to this. And we're just repeating this process any place that there's an open gap between the front post Now we have an even face across the entire front of our shelving system. So then we're going to use 1 8 inch white hardboard uh, to put a decorative face on the front of this. We're going to cut these to the required sizes and lengths and then we're just going to tack these on just like a puzzle. So you can just see we're cutting, measuring, and tacking these on with our nail guide. Next, I decided to wrap the 2x3 boards that were visible from the sides, and then I'm just going to paint it. So as you can see, it has a much cleaner look when you start to wrap it. So I've wrapped these sides, and we're coming, uh, we've come a long way since we started this project initially. So now I'm going to caulk, prime, and paint. And uh, as you can see here, we've already done our caulking and now we're in the process of priming. And then we're going to follow that up with some paint. Any of the areas that are open uh, or does not have a white finish, I'm actually looking to prime first. And once we complete this, then we're going to go over the entire unit and paint it. I am using a cabinet paint on this particular project so it comes out with a much smoother finish. So as you can see, we've completed uh, the caulking, the priming, and the painting, and it has made a huge difference. So now that we've completed that, we put the makeup on the unit, now it's time to actually add the doors. So now I'm cutting doors 46 inches by 22 inches. I need 12 of these doors because I have 12 open spaces. I have the malamine veneer edging that you iron on to the edge of the, uh, the malamine board to give it a clean look. I'm going to use these uh, non-mortise hinges. I'm going to go ahead and start to attach these.
Now remember, this is a two-man job. After you've screwed those into the door, you're gonna need someone to help hold it while you screw those into the actual cabinet set. And it's straightforward. You're gonna take your measurements, figure out exactly how low you want your doors to hang and attach them. So the doors have been attached. Now we wanna actually attach gas lifts to these doors. And these are designed to uh, handle up to 33 pounds. So again, this is pretty straightforward as well. Again, two-man job, someone has to hold the door open while you screw in the actual, um, while you screw in the gas struts and attach it. And this is our finished product. So again, we wanted to go with a very clean California closet look in the garage. So the project that you're looking at here was done for a really good friend of mine who asked me to do this to his garage. So I'm gonna to have to build this same set inside my garage to give my garage a cleaner look. My garage is organized, but it doesn't have doors to actually cover up any of the content uh, that I'm actually storing. So what do you guys think? You like it? Nice clean look. What's interesting is after we completed the project, his wife came out and asked, when will I be able to get my California closet in my house done? So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because that project will be coming pretty soon. You don't want to miss that. And that's it for this episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. And until we see each other again, may God continue to bless you and keep you. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you can get the latest episodes of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. God bless.